I just have one question. Who's that? Chapters 1 and 2 of Wind and Truth have been released! Like last week, these are chapters that Sanderson had previously done readings of. But, like last week, there are some changes. They took out the best part of the poop joke! First, real quick, thank you patrons! Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, Dalinar's Butt, Moochie, Chris, Mithi Caron, Gallant Aegis, and the son of James. Now, spoilers. Chapter 1 starts out with Kaladin feeling perhaps the best we've ever seen. Granted, that still isn't great, but it's good. And it's really only so good in contrast. Teft is gone, the world's nine days from ending, he'd recently been slapped in the face by an illusory tentacle growing out of Syl's forehead, but he's happy. That is, until the wind starts talking to him, in a different way than it has before. Warning that the worst storm is coming. How many storms does this boy have to divert? Quick jump over to Shallan in Lasting Integrity, she's officially bonded to Spren which likely means the shard blade she used to kill Tin back in Words of Radiance was actually testament, and not pattern. We were always suspecting. They share a hug, Shallan and the corpse. It's actually very sweet. This continues in the reading Sanderson did, but that'll probably come next week. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Chapter 2! Let's talk about the epigraphs, which I was honestly not expecting to be included in these preview chapters. Did they do it last time? Probably. Eh. Like what's happened in the previous books, these are from the in-world volume, Knights of Wind and Truth. It seems to me like it's written by Kaladin so far, first knowing the wind as a child, although it's probably actually written by Ishar or something, because that's how Brandon do. And why is that wind capitalized? We did just hear it talk. Is the name of the wind just... wind? Back to Family Time Kaladin, a rare special edition Kaladin, who's still suffering from PTSD. He's infused with tower light. It's not driving him to action like Stormlight usually does, but is more calming. Little Oradin demands blocks, and this is where the main excisions have been made from Brandon's original excerpt. I totally suggest going back and checking it out. The interactions between Kaladin and his little brother are adorable. Plus, we get this. Poop spren, she said flatly. Oh, I know tons, Sil said, barely keeping a straight face. We had them over- <laughs> I can't do it! We had them over for dinner all the time. Stormfather and I. Knew an entire poop family. <laughs> The Siladin shippers get more fuel for that fire, with Sil choosing to be full size more often in order to make it harder for certain people to ignore her, and the distinction of her being girlish at times but never a girl. Cal really wants us to know she's mature, and that she's dressing like Kaladin's ex. The wind tells Cal to listen to the bondsmith. He immediately associates that with Dalinar, but what if Windy is actually talking about Ishar? Also, any speculation on who this Whisper on the Wind actually is? I've seen Ishar himself thrown around, as well as all three shards on Roshar, various unmade, so who do you think is secret messaging Kaladin? Liren shows a sliver of paternal non-douchiness, which merits some joy spread. The most visually exciting part of this week's release is the illustration page. We get to see the star spread that Shallan drew before arriving in Lasting Integrity, as well as a strange portrait in the corner? If you've read the Shallan chapters Brandon put out at C2E2 in April, you'll have a pretty good guess as to who that is and why they're there. Like, the mechanics of why they're showing up, which is really cool. Without getting into that, until next week, probably, the face looks more feminine, glowy eyes, with a crown that is actually pretty similar to a notable piece of Rhythm of War fan art. Mm -hmm. So who do you think it is? More importantly, are poop spren real? Let me know what you think in the comments, or join my Patreon and Discord for more community, and we'll read and find out! Also, Cosmere RPG just dropped, so uh, I'm working on that. <laughs>